Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have a little makeup haul from the Dollar Tree. Before we start, I have to say that this is the second time I record this because the first time was such a mess. Um, the audio was really, really bad. It was just, it was just not, not working out at all. Um, and so some of, or most of these things are actually already opened, um, because I had already filmed, but I still wanted to show you. Um, I don't want to put that video because again, the audio is not good. It was just like not working out overall. Um, and so I still wanted to share these things that I found at the Dollar Tree. And so the packaging for most of these things, like I said, will be opened and yeah. So anyway, with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing or first things that I found, which I'm most excited about, are these mascaras. I got the blue one. See, this one's opened because I showed the um, the brush on the first video. And these are the LA Colors Tropical Bloom. And of course, I got a basic black because, I don't know, I just thought... Why not use or get a color that I'm going to use every day if I end up liking it? Um, and then also a fun color like the purple, which the name here is Tropical Purple. And the, oh, the blue one is, let's see if it has it on it. Oh, it does. Okay. Aqua Sea. I was thinking like how come they didn't put anything tropical theme for the black one it just says very black <laughs> so i don't know i think maybe like the black sea or something like that or dark ocean i don't know <laughs> i just thought that maybe they would include like a, a theme name with it but it's just very black mascara so okay so i'm gonna show you the blue one I think the packaging is actually really cute. It's simple, but just very cute. I really like the brush, you guys. It, it reminds me of a combination of like, the blue looks like it's pretty pigmented. I don't know, I'd have to try it on. Um, let me see if I can, oh, I don't know if it's a good idea if I should swatch it on my hand. Just like a, a kind of pressing a little hard. I don't know, maybe because it's on my hand, maybe that was a bad idea. Um, yeah, maybe it was. I mean, there is color to it, so maybe it's because it's not supposed to be on my hand, it's supposed to be on my lashes, so... But I felt the brush right now. It's not super hard, but it's not extremely flimsy. It's okay. It's kind of, it's pretty soft. Um, it reminds me of like the brush. It reminds me of like the Lash Paradise is the one that I use all the time. The shape of it. I think, what is it? Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara also has that shape. And then the little bristles kind of remind me also a little bit of the Benefit, the real mascara, which is, that's like one of my top favorite mascaras of all time. Um, so I'm hoping that, I know it's not going to be exactly the same, but that it gives a little bit of that, that would be awesome. Because now that I see like the shape of the brush, um, I'm really excited to try the black one because that's something, again, that I would wear every day. Um, so I don't know if this is like trending now or something, but at least for me, um, I've been seeing a lot of the colored mascaras, especially like the burgundies, well, all colors really, but constantly like these past days, like probably like a week or so, um, I've been seeing nothing but colored mascaras and then I saw these and it says, it says, <laughs> it says new. So I was like, maybe this is like a new thing. Um, I don't know, but I wanted to try it out. I have to say though, I, I'm not too like, I mean the blue is pretty, but I don't really see myself like wearing this out, 
but again i have to try it because what if i end up loving it i am excited about the purple one because it's supposed to bring out your brown eyes this one in the burgundy maybe so i don't know we'll see let's open this one actually so we can see what the color looks like um i won't open the black one because it's gonna be just black um so let's check it out my gosh i'm like ripping little piece by little piece well you know we'll finish tomorrow okay it out that's what it looks like I do I'm tempted to swatch it oh gosh it's it feels like nothing's coming off it doesn't even feel wet maybe I should tip it back in <gasps> you can really see not nothing so I don't know feels pretty dry and like nothing really came look at that again it's on your hand so on my hand not your hand it's on my hand um so maybe that has to do with it i just wanted you guys to see the color um so i'll probably end up trying these actually on my lashes where they're supposed to go in a short so so you guys can see it um but again i did it just so you guys can see the color like the payoff i guess you can say i think the blue one probably looks a little stronger um as far as pigmentation so okay so those are the mascaras and then i found another mascara from I'm trying to look for oh, here it is okay this is by limbursary um i think i purchased their their um what was it like the setting spray or something like that in one of my hauls and surprisingly this one also has this is just in black the same shape of um brush and it feels this one actually feel, oh okay um this one feels a little bit harder like the bristles are a little bit um harder so okay i'm excited to try them because like sometimes by looking at the brush i can tell like if maybe it's gonna work out at least help like how can i say it helps for me it helps like separate them and just i just like this type of brush like the little hourglass type of bl bl brush blush brush and then i got two eyeshadow palettes as you can kind of see, some of them were swatched. This was for my first attempt at this. Um, these are from BI, which is Beauty Intuition. They actually don't have the name on here. It just it was just on the packaging, um, but doesn't have it anywhere. Oddly, but I don't know. Um, this is the Peachy Nudes, and we have the Soft Pinks. Now, again, based on my first video. <laughs> I have to say that I really enjoyed this one more. I feel like it was pigmented. Um, it, it gave it a little bit of more payoff. That's really pretty. Um, then the soft pinks, but then again, they're soft pinks, so I don't think there's going to be a lot of pigmentation, but they were a little, um, what's the word, like chalky? That's really pretty. These are terrible swatches, but I'm just, you know, that's really cute. So I really actually like this palette. I'm actually, oh my gosh, I'm, hello. I'm actually wearing it right now. I did it this morning. I was like, I'm just going to use this palette. It's perfect for me for everyday use. I'm sorry if my lids are shiny. Let me just pat them down so I can show you. I don't wear um, eyeshadow primer anymore. Just like smack it on there. Sometimes I use my foundation, but yeah. 
Hopefully there's not a lot of mascara on there. <laughs> That's what I came up with. I used I used mostly this one right here. This is the one I'm wearing with a little bit of this one right here. So I used these two and kind of mixed or you know blended them. But yes, mostly it was this color. Yeah. So I really like it. That was loud. And then again the soft pinks. I just open this if I can. How come I can? okay, there we go. Right there. See I swatched this one. That's actually really cute. I really like that it didn't have like any fallout on either palettes, which is crazy because I really dislike uh, let's try which one this one um i really 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 dislike when there's like a whole lot of fallout See, this one's not very pigmented um because i get it all over me i don't know how but i ended up like i end up getting it all over myself and it's just i don't like it. and then it'll get on my face and so i always try to remember to do my eyeshadow first and i used to do that but i don't know what happened to me that i just stopped doing that and i put my foundation first and i'm like no just do your eyes first i don't know it doesn't really matter but i end up getting like eyeshadow all over the place so i love that these actually don't have um a lot of fallout or any really this one let's see just throw it on here it's pretty good i'm trying to see what finger i have not swatched i think this one is good let's do this one um, so yeah these are the soft nudes which is not too bad they're they're cutesy um i will be using these but definitely oopsies definitely for me you guys this one's the winner and this one i will be using every day um yeah I, i'll be using this i do really like it and um so far so good i'm trying to think how long i've had them had it already so um it is it is 5 27 right now p.m um let's see what time did i start like nine, let's say Oh my, you guys, I've been wearing it for a little over nine hours already. So I started getting ready like around 9.15-ish. 5.20, what is it? 5.20, oh my gosh, 5.27, so over nine hours, right? Did I count that right? Yeah, like 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. Um, that's a while and it doesn't look bad. I mean, I that's the first time that i've touched my eyelids just now when i pat or when i patted my eyelids because it's like oily um but i didn't touch it at all until just now that i did that to my eyelids which is pretty awesome so i like it all right and then the last two things that i found were these Maybelline products and this is the Maybelline green edition this is the balmy lip blush I was confused at first I thought it was a blush but then it's not it's like a lip balm pretty much in the color 003 sunshine and at first I thought these were the same colors but apparently they're not I guess this one's a little more orangey and then I found this one this is the buttercream lipstick uh, yeah buttercream lipstick in color 005 rainforest so this is the lipstick it's super pretty i love these reds you guys i'm a sucker for a red lip let me just swatch that i used to wear it quite often really cute it's like soft buttery um and so i was excited when i saw these and we're gonna swatch this one on this side 
Oh yeah, definitely more on the orangey side. Yeah. Straight on. Very soft. Not sticky. It feels a moisturizing. I like it. Obviously, with the lipstick and this, this is not like um, something that's going to last all day. You'll have to reapply it. But if you're looking for something that is going to be worn for a little bit or you're not going to be like eating and doing this stuff like out to dinner or whatever. I mean, not that you can't wear this when you go out to dinner. But what I'm saying is like if you don't care if it comes off, then you're good. But obviously, this is not going to last an all day. Um, but I still like it. I personally some like prefer when it comes to lipsticks. And, you know, like a colored lipstick. Not like a tint or lip gloss. Even if it has a color to it. I don't care that it comes off. But when it comes to lipsticks, like lipsticks. <laughs> I prefer for them to stay as long as possible. Um... So I don't have to be reapplying and I'm just going about my day, which by the way, I purchased two of the vinyl Maybelline lipsticks and I hope that they do last. I, it's, I have not Wicked. I looked at Wicked. I was about to grab that one, but I ended up getting um, actually something similar to this, I guess. Um, and the red one here, it's called Red Hot. And then I got a, a pink one. I think it's called Strike. It's kind of like hot pink, fuchsia-y. Oh, actually, I swatched it a little bit. Well, it already came off because I've been washing my hands and all this stuff during the day. Like, it's been a long day. And it's only 5.30. But, um, yeah. I feel like hopefully it's going to last. Because, I, I mean, I, you can still kind of see it. And, I, like I said, I've been washing my hands and doing all kinds, like, all day, you know. So not washing my hands all day, like, that's all I've been doing, just kidding, but you know what I mean, like, yeah, um, yeah, so anyhow, <laughs> ramble is over, this is what I found at the Dollar Tree, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, thank you for hanging out, sticking and watching, I appreciate it, sticking, sticking around and watching, um, I will, bye!